decided to uh, take a walk through the woods around my property. Um, something I've been noticing a lot at the National Forest is that a lot of people have been cutting into the base of pine trees and also into forks and branches and I can really only assume that they are looking for fatwood and these are trees that are live trees perfectly standing they were healthy now all of a sudden they've been damaged and they're gonna have to fight for their lives and more than likely the person never got fat wood from the base of a live pine tree anyways so uh, I thought I would come out and uh, show you how to get fat wood in a responsible manner and that's what this video is about so we are going to uh, locate where some fat wood might be at normally you would find it at the base of a standing dead pine tree in the stump area um, also in standing pine trees you can find it in forks of branches but at no time will you ever find fat wood at the base of a live pine tree it just isn't going to happen so uh, pine or fat wood, I should say, has a smell much like uh, uh, why did it just slip my mind? It's wildlife in the woods. My pet cat follows me everywhere. Oh well, I'll post up. You know, it has a very unique smell. You can't miss it. So uh, I'll get back to you in a little bit. I'm going to walk around the woods here. I could take you for the ride, but it's just going to make the video that much longer. So as soon as I find some fat wood, uh, we'll get the video. So I did find some fat wood. Uh, right here. A whole box of fat wood. Looks like 0.5 cubic feet. It's available at your local Walmart, Lowe's, Home Depot, Tractor Supply, Rural King, any place that sells <laughs> any place that sells firewood logs for like city folks, you can get a box of fat wood for like five dollars. This box of fat wood has I don't know how many sticks of fat wood in it. Let's get the box opened up here. Either way, there's many sticks of fat wood in there. They are relatively, you know, a decent size. They're bigger than my hand. So, uh, and mysteriously, I found it right next to a rock, which would be a good place to demonstrate getting this lit up. So, let me get this camera shut off. I'll go over the gear that I brought with me into the woods to locate this fat wood. Anyways, let's go over what I've actually brought out here. I've got a neck knife made by Tops. I've got a haversack. Inside the haversack, I've got a stove. I've got a fire kit. I've got a Holtzbrook hatchet. I also have canteen. My belt knife is a Topps Brothers of Bushcraft, which is not the best, not the best knife for uh, having a 90 degree spine, but we are going to make this work. Kentucky does have a fire ban right now, so I'm going to do just enough shavings to show you. This fat wood lights just as good as any fat wood that you're going to get from the woods. So 
So I'm using the spine of the knife to shave this fat wood off. Turpentine was the, the uh, word that I was looking for a while ago. So fat wood has the smell of turpentine. I started scraping on it. I remember, remembered what it was I was trying to think of. So once you have the fat wood scraped off, you can then use a lighter, fire steel, whatever you've got. We're going to do this with a fire steel. Just because, again, this knife does not have a very good 90 degree spine, but might run into that in a survival situation. So what I generally do in those situations is I use the pull method. There we go. All it took is one good spark lit right up. Again, Brothers of Bushcraft Knife, made by Tops. I did take and uh, remove some of the paint from the top to expose the metal to see if it had a better edge on it. And uh, it's going to take some more work, but I am going to get this down to where it's a 90 degree spine because I love this knife. It's a little bit wider than the... Uh, more of bushcraft black which is what I also carry sometimes and I just like the way it feels so but you saw how easy that went up in flames and that's the point so by the way it is deer season I'm out in the woods not wearing any orange because I'm on my own property and if I ever catch anybody out here they're going to have hell to pay but the whole point of this is the responsible way to find fat wood this time of year go buy it five dollars for a box it's enough it'll last you a lifetime works just as good as any fat wood you're going to find in the forest and uh, not only that you're preserving the environment for future generations so that they can get out and enjoy the outdoors just like we do so stop cutting down live pine trees looking for fat wood you're never going to find it buy it from the store take you a couple pieces with you put it in your fire kit you've always got it a couple pieces if you took this a piece of this fat wood bro broke it down into halves or maybe a third that's going to be all the fire kit you're going to need for a long time so that's the message the real message is responsibly harvesting fatwood, get it from a store.